All right, guys, so we are at Pigeon Forge, and uh, we are going to be fishing at the waterfall. Uh, what we have set up is uh, we have a Mr. Crappy Rod right here, and a uh, split shot weight and a hook. And uh, we're going to put some salmon eggs on this, or at least artificial ones. And uh, we're going to see what we can get. Apparently, this is supposed to be a really good spot. So uh, I'm going to grab the salmon eggs real quick, and uh, we're going to throw it out there, see what we get. We're going to start with these. Uh, these are the red colored ones. Let's see if we can get anything. Yeah. Guys, it is cold out here today. It is uh, like 34 degrees. And if you guys know me, you know I do not like the cold. And you know, we're just doing, putting two little salmon eggs on these uh, hooks. And these are the balls of fire. All right. So we're gonna come over here and just cast this into the... Yeah. All right, well, the rocks are a little slippery. But uh, we're gonna cast this in here and hopefully get us a fish. There we go. Look at that. First cast. Oh wow, look, rainbow. That's a nice rainbow too. Wow. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot my net. Dang, that was quick. Look at that. Now, look at that. That was instant. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he did. There he goes. But look at that. First trout of the trip, not even a minute in the water and we already had a fish. All right, I'm gonna run to my truck real quick. I'm gonna grab a net uh, in case we get a bigger one. All right guys, I got the net. It's just easier dealing with trout with nets than to do what I just did. All right guys, well I've decided to set up my rod right here on our rod holder. It just might be a little easier to see the bites and stuff. Um, I have all three baits, you know, I got three different types of the, basically the same company, uh, salmon eggs. We're gonna get back to the ones we tried originally. Uh, let's see what we can pitch. Okay, okay. There we go. There's one. Oh, what the heck? Holy crap. Wait, that is... Oh, okay, there guys, this is something interesting. This is called a uh, creek chub. Actually, wait, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think... I think this is called what is known as a creek chub. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a creek chub. It's like, it's, uh, I'll have to look it up and make sure, but this is a new t new species for me. I've never caught one of these before. This actually almost looks like a shad, so I don't I don't know. See, dude, you're not what I wanted to catch. All right, guys, well, uh, fishing has been a pain this morning. Uh, you know, we were using salmon eggs earlier, caught one trout and, you know, a few creek chubs. And uh, for the past like hour and a half, I've been going through every little bit of equipment I have. I've been trying rooster tails, drought magnets, uh, bobbers, all this stuff, and uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, put the salmon eggs back on, and uh, then what we're gonna do is maybe fish for about 30 minutes. If we can't get anything else in those 30 minutes, we'll head back to the cabin. All right guys, well I am back in the truck. Um, we were not able to catch any other trout, which is surprising. You know, I thought, you know, once we caught that first trout, it would just be trout after trout after trout. Uh, similar to my, or similar to my Pesca video. If you guys have not checked that out already, go ahead and check that out. But anyway, we're going to head back to the lodge for a little bit. Chill over there. Later this evening, we are going to go to Patriot Park and uh, we're going to try trout fishing again and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, we caught a nice trout. Um, what happened was uh, I I just got down to the spot and, you know, I was about to, I had went ahead and put my rod out because um, I didn't really think, you know, I was gonna catch anything. And, you know, I was swapping out GoPro batteries and the rod just absolutely bent down and uh, we just caught that nice trout. Um, so there are trout here. Oh, shoot. 
Uh, um, but anyway, we caught a nice trout. That was probably one of the bigger ones I've caught. Uh, it's a mess. Um, but anyway, sorry you guys didn't get to see that. That was actually a really cool fish. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get another line out there and hopefully catch another one. That was really nice. All right, guys, we'll change the plans. Um, well, you know, I want to make more videos than like two or three. So what I decided to do is we're on our way back to the mill where we were last video. And uh, we're just going to try to catch a few small uh, creek chubs for the rest of this video. Or hopefully, I mean, targeting trout. But like, you know, we caught so many last time, you know, probably going to catch that. We're going to go over there and finish up this video. And uh, next video, we'll come back here and do some more trout fishing. All right, guys. Well, we're going to throw this salmon, these salmon eggs into here and see if there's any trout sitting over here. And if not, we'll try to catch a few creek chubs real quick. There we go. Oh, this one's big. Oh, wow. All right. rainbow trout and uh, a creek chub and now another rainbow trout this is awesome let's get a few more trout if we can all right guys well it is getting pretty late uh, I'm gonna try to catch uh, one or two more fish and then we're probably gonna call it today all right guys well I'm back in my car now well uh, that was pretty crazy I apologize if you guys couldn't really hear me talk um, because the water the waterfall is really loud but um, I forgot to mention that that second big trout we caught at the uh, waterfall was actually my biggest trout ever. Um, so that was really cool. But it was crazy. Like I didn't think there would be such a hot bite uh, right after sunset. Now I did have a fish that was actually a little bit smaller than the bigger one we caught. Um, but I forgot to start the recording. But I have a picture of it right here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we'll be coming to Patriot Park. I'm probably gonna bring a fly rod and you know, and we're gonna try to find the fish and then you know, cast right into them. Because what I've noticed is the bigger trout only bite if you just throw something right in front of them. And that's what been happening on accident. You know, that first trout we caught at uh, Patriot Park, I had literally just thrown it out there. I assumed the trout was sitting right there and just ate it because you know, next thing I look behind me, the rod's bent down. And then the one we caught uh, at the waterfall, you know, I just casted it in there, let it sit for like a second, and then it was, it was, you know, we had a big fish on. And now I think these big fish are just waiting for the food to be right in front of them. So that's my theory, and then we're going to test that tomorrow. So stay tuned. All right, guys, well, we've been fishing at Patriot Park for a while, and it just seems like we're not getting anything where I know there's a good fishing spot right down there. So I think in the next few minutes, we'll go down to the mill and, uh, you know, just catch a few fish. So um, we're gonna go down there right now, and just get a few fish, cause I really don't have that much time before we get back. It's uh, 8.30 right now. I wanna catch at least like two or three fish. There we go. That's a trout, I think. Hope so. Oh yeah, that's a trout. <laughs> Nice trout. Alright buddy, come on over here. Hey, nice. 
pretty nice rainbow. Not bad at all. Wrong way. Look at that. that was a, that's a nice size trout. Not too big, not too small, you know? Alright guys, well I am back in Georgia now. I hope you guys enjoyed the little trout video. Now I know in the video, you know, I kind of mentioned like I would try to make it into multiple videos. I just didn't catch enough trout or have enough content to actually put it into multiple videos. So I just decided to just kind of throw it in all one giant video. Now I didn't catch any more trout after that. You know, I was hoping to catch a lot more. And I know I didn't show it in the video, but I caught a lot of creek chubs, uh, more creek chubs than trout. Um, I just didn't show it because they're not what I was fishing for. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next week with some more fishing content.